One of the reasons I teach sitting meditation, conscious breathing, is because you are much more the breath that enters the body than you are the body that receives the breath. So when I look at, at nature, I see wiggly. I see leaves that are wiggling, and I see no straight lines. And then I look at man-made structures like this barn back here, straight lines, or like this house, straight lines, or like this car, straight lines. And then I look again at nature, and I'm like, wiggly. <laughs> wiggly things are so freaking cool. And you never really know what shape they're gonna take today, what colors the trees are gonna start turning colors here soon. And as the temperature's dropping and the field is longer at moments than at other moments. And then I look at this car and this car is gonna be the same shape until we get rid of it, until it gets impounded, until it gets crushed. It's gonna be that shape. It'll deteriorate something, don't get me wrong. It'll fall apart, but It'll be that same shape. Man makes a lot of fixed things. And the reason why man makes so many fixed things, things with straight lines, very rigid, very... Um, is because we are, we've become rigid. And the truth is, we believe certain things about ourselves. Our mind has been conditioned that we are this. Based on the past, we are this. And, and I believe you know, we're Republican or Democrat. I'm black, I'm white, I'm male, I'm female. And when we create these rigid concepts and we believe these rigid concepts about ourselves. we end up listen man we end up uh, then manifesting rigid things into the world into the universe because we manifest what we're conscious of and then you look at artists like one of the things I love about being a life artist is that I don't think my per even from the personality the personalities are things that I'm playing with. Guru Chill is just an idea, it's a concept that I'm playing with, it's not real. My personality is not real. And everything that I create is just this life-giving experience. And it changes constantly. Just like our looks change and our concepts change, our beliefs change. As a man thinketh or believes, so is he. And so I just want you to understand right now, if you wanna start creating more wiggly things, things that are giving life to other things and not just this inanimate objects, these very rigid inanimate objects, then what we need to do is we need to become wiggly ourselves, or, or better put, recognize that we already are wiggly. You've never been the same. Not one time in your life have you been the exact same. Since you were born into this world, you have continually metamorphosized. You've continually changed not only your shape, your, your shape. I mean, my God, if you look at pictures of me from 20 years ago to now, I don't even look like the same dude. 100% different. Better today than I ever looked, you know, and feel better than I've ever felt. And spiritually, conceptually changed dramatically. My ideology shifted. Everything shifted. Everything's changed. And if you look at your life, you're going to come to the same realization that everything has changed you might not have ch intentionally played with or tried to change or shift your personality because your personality typically psychologists say by the time you're 25 your personality is kind of set and the only reason why we think that is because our pet we've lived long enough in a body and our brains are developing to such a point that now this is what we genuinely believe we are and those beliefs don't typically change but they can you can change that that's why i teach a course called personality sculpting which is all about playing within the personality if you've ever been depressed it's because it was the person that you believed you were wanting out. You wanted to play a different character. And so personality sculpting is about helping show that you can play with those characters. You can change shape, form, be whatever character you want to be. You can be the protagonist if you want to be. Everybody believes that they are, but you can believe be whatever character you want to be. Anyway, it's kind of getting off topic. Wiggly, dude. Like, wiggly. Ah, wiggly is so cool. Look at this. Look at this leaf. leaves wiggly it's wiggly it's cool it's it's here today it's gone tomorrow it grows back it's green it'll be yellow a little bit later on in the year got some leaves that are already changing to yellow let's see if i can show you my phone's not following me but 
Look, some leaves are already turning yellow, a little brown because it got we froze. But wiggly's cool. And you are that breath. You are that wiggly being, that divine being. And um, I want to encourage you to search out your wiggly nature and to start, simply start being okay with playing within that wiggly nature instead of just trying to make that fixed self that you've believed you are work, start playing with the wiggly self. This is the reason why I'm always saying to you guys, the more you awaken to who and what you truly are, ultimate reality, the more that you play in this beautiful world that I call a playground, that is a playground. It's here for us to to play in. So I want to encourage you today to play. But you're not going to play if you genuinely believe that this is what I am, this is just who I am, and I've got to go about life this way. Forget playing. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be short-tempered. You're going to have a short fuse, dude. So don't get caught up in that. Oh, by the way, this is the last video you're going to get of this property because we're buying a home, and so you'll get to see the new property next week. Oh, we've loved it here. This has been a great little little place, a uh, little meditation hall slash study of mine here. and It's been a great little place for us to raise a family for a few years and, and play, but we're moving on something a little bit more substantial place for us to do a little bit more and play a little bit more. I can't wait to show you some of that. I love you guys so much. Hope you have an incredible day. We'll talk to you soon.